Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Galactic Challenge video. Today we'll be going through the Best Spin Scoundrel Galactic Challenge. Um, and if, in case any of you were wondering why I didn't upload for the past two Galactic Challenges, it's just because they were so dumb and uh, by the time I figured them out, it didn't really make sense to make a video about it anyways. And I had to use guides from other people, so I uh, figured, yeah, no point, because CG fucking sucks sometimes. And doesn't know how to balance shit. But anyways, um, back to today's one. Today's one is relatively okay. I think it's just um, actually so easy that it can be hard in a weird way. But overall, it's pretty doable. So the first stuff we'll go through is the offense up and gain taunt. So this is the team I use. Uh, strange combination, you might wonder. But basically, the core tree of Emperor Palpatine, Thrawn, and Marjit will just get you your offense up and keep control in. Basically, they can win the battle by themselves. Um, you can have the other two be uh, literally almost anything. Um, and so, for me, I use the other two just to get the taunt ups. Uh, yeah. So, another option is Imperial Troopers, but I want to get the taunt up with these guys because my, dro my droids aren't that great. So, the goal here is actually once you get um, your stun chain going, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you be careful of people. Uh, people's counterattacks. So here, be very careful of Django. Um, yeah, but once you get it going, um, your main goal is actually not to kill them too fast. Uh, the difficulty is in killing them uh, not too fast, uh, because yeah, you stun lock. They can't do anything. You go, you take like ten million turns, and you just kill them. So you want to make sure you get your offense up and your taunts uh, before killing them. Uh, so once I would recommend. Once you get the initial train going, i.e. you get your Margit Grenade, uh, Emperor Pelt stun, and like most of them are stunned. Uh, once you get that initial uh, combo off, uh, don't use Margit's other abilities besides her basic. Um, you don't want to do too much AoE damage. And with Thrawn, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really uh, avoid damaging, but yeah, basically you just want to get Pelt's turns. And for me, my, my two tanks, Kylo and Royal Guard, are pretty slow, so um, I will use Thrawn to give turn meter to Kylo, because he can get ter can, he can gain taunt on his basic, um, whereas Royal Guards is on the cooldown, so yeah, it'll take longer. Uh, but yeah, so at the start, just be very careful. Um, my guys are like decently fast, um, and luckily the enemies aren't too fast this time, so Zemo is pretty fast, you might go first. Um, and then as you can see, I, I could take a turn. So, so if Zam goes, I take a turn. Um, if your Palpatine is faster than their next guy, uh, if your Marjit or Palpatine are faster than their next guy, i.e. Bosk, um, go ahead and fra Fracture Thrawn. Uh, go ahead and uh, use Thrawn's Fracture on Django Fett, because Django Fett can counter-attack in this mode and he absolutely murders people. Like, he one-shots my Relic 7 Vader, one-shots my... Palpatine one shots everybody, so just be very careful. So here, um, kind of sucks, but uh, with this team, basically, when I tried this and use like a stronger team, I would kill them too fast. So I have to use this weaker team with the Royal Guard and Kylo Ren. Um, so, um, but with them, I don't have the guarantee of stun locks uh, in the very first turn. Um, so. Here, yeah, um, uh, just try for uh, uh, AOE stun with Palpatine. If it doesn't stun Django and Django kills your Palpatine, just restart the battle. Just repeat it until you get a you get a AOE stun, basically. Bam, yeah. And here I fracture a boss for good measure. Then yeah, from here it's pretty easy. Just again remember to try not to kill them too fast, basically. So what that means is. Um, Avoid, avoid uh, um, applying too much uh, vulnerable on people, and avoid hitting vulnerable targets too much. Um, and once you get your twenty offense up, um, uh, don't bother spreading shock to all the enemies, so help doesn't go too much and kills everybody. Uh, like if you're looking like you don't have your taunts, you don't have your five taunts yet. Um, yeah, so. Obviously at the start, I want to apply shock to everybody, so pelt goes as much as possible. But when I realized that um, 
they're gonna die before I get my five taunts. I slow down and just um, just up, have shock on a few people. Yeah. Here I apply the royal guard, which is a mistake because uh, uh, my royal guard will get two taunts basically, uh, regardless. Uh, but yeah, if I give it to Kylo and Kylo Ren, will get three taunts, and then together they have five, and then I get my feet. But yeah, pretty simple. Once again, Django is basically the biggest danger because of his counter attack. Um, but be careful of boss going as well because he can get them going, cleanse his debuff, gets everyone going, um, and then it's not a fun time. Uh, so try to stun him or have ability block on him or anything, you know. Um, Zam similarly, uh, if there were th thermal detonators, will absolutely kill everybody. Um, and grief is dangerous because he can cleanse everybody. So just make sure to keep, make sure to keep Django stunned or fractured. Make sure to keep Bosk um, and grief uh, ability blocked, and yeah, the rest. Uh, so here you notice uh, I'm just uh, shocking people that are already shocked, and uh, yeah. Uh, so Pelp doesn't gain too much turn meter, so the, my other guys have a chance to go. Here, unfortunately, I uh, yeah, was hoping to get less turn meter with Mara, but yeah, she goes, she kills this guy. Um, yeah, but yeah, easy, easy peasy. There you go, offense up and uh, taunt five times. Here are my mods. Um, nothing too special, honestly. Um, but you don't want your Pelp, Mara, and Thrawn to be extremely slow, of course. Because you want them to go before a boss, if not, uh, you, you can't win. Uh, yeah. Because once those guys get going, it's a disaster. Um, the mods, yeah, you, you can take a look at the mods here. Yeah. My Thrawn is pretty fast, and even then he still goes after Zeb, so um, it's okay for Zeb to go first, as long as your next character goes before a boss and can do something about it. The mods on the two tanks don't really matter, as we'll see in a second. So I'm just gonna skip past them. They're, they're just there to ton, uh, just press their ton ability. So it doesn't really matter. Though I did have my Kylo, I quickly swapped the um, speed arrow on him to get him faster turns. Just to guarantee my ton 5 time. But yeah, there you go. That's the offense up and gain ton 5 times speed. So next is the all droids challenge. So for gold crate, as usual, we always say in the, on this channel we always get gold crates because we're a more mid game roster, um, and you need to beat tier six basically to uh, get a gold crate if you max out the rest of the feats. So nothing too special here. This is the team I use. This is just the droids that I have recently leveled up. Um, yeah, but again, key thing is to keep um, ability blocks on. Grief and uh, Bosk. Uh, here I actually mess up, uh, and in the previous attempt I messed up. So uh, there you probably want to stun Grief with R2. But yeah, my guys are much higher tier than theirs, so uh, we just beat them with raw stats. Yeah, kill the guy before he gets a chance to go. So kill boss before he gets a chance to cleanse when he... Boom, boom. Pretty easy. Nothing, nothing crazy. Okay. There we go. Full team of drug units. And that will get you gold crate. Which honestly, it's not too much worse than red crate. So we take those. Now we just pray that CG gives us another easy red crate one because they gave us two shitty ones. Here we go. Yeah. And the previous challenge of uh, previous challenge with the Tuscans was just oh my goodness, that was terrible. Like I'm gonna get a silver box, so I really hope they compensate us somehow. But yeah, uh, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, buddy. Peace.